Hey guys, welcome to your first IT for CSEC and CXC lessons. So pretty much what will what will we be going through? We'll be going through um, most of the basics in terms of IT, explaining what some of you guys have issues with in terms of um, what is found in your um, textbooks. And pretty much what we'll be using for for majority of these videos um, is your information technology for CSEC, the second edition. But if you don't have that book, don't worry, we'll be going through it with you. All right, so let's get right into it. So this is part of your study solutions videos. Um, so if you like the video, remember to share it and to let others know that it's going to be available online for them. And remember to download the app. It's on the Google Play Store. The link will be in the description. All right, so let's get into it. So let's go into information processing. So first up, what is information processing? Info information processing, otherwise known as IP, or can be called IP, describes the manipulation of information to make it more useful for a task. So pretty much that's one of the main, if not the main reason for computers to exist. They exist mainly for you guys or us as humans to complete tasks in a more efficient and easy manner. So we'll be looking at some of the, the major uses of information or computers in our society or within specific industries. So let's take a look at some. All right, so industrial uses. Computers are used to control processes used in everyday life. These processes can be done without human operation. There are some, all right guys, there are some tasks that um, human beings are not able to do accurately or even if they are able to do to do it, they are not able to do it um, effectively or without going through a lot of um, um, painstaking routines. Like for instance, in a factory, for instance, let's just say we're making a tin of corned beef or a tin of anything. Um, do, if you notice the, the label on the back of the, the, the beef, or the tin, it tells you exactly how much ingredients was put into that can. Um, but bear in mind, this is done for a large number of um, cans. Uh, so a simple, or let's just say a group of persons still wouldn't be able to effectively measure and put in the exact amount of ingredients in every can. So in that situation, a computer or um, a machine which is computerized is the one that does the exact measurement and that exact routine over and over. And so that's an uh, industrial use of a computer. Automation. So in keeping with the industrial use is automation. It sounds fancy, but what it's really, it really works out to to be is processes that are done without the need for human input. So pretty much it's any task you give the computer or machine to do without having to physically monitor the computer or to do the task yourself. It just runs in the background, just like when you start your computer up and it just runs without you having to tell it what processes to be running to bring windows up or whatever um, um, operating system. So that's automation. All right. Next thing, information retrieval. So computers are usually used large, largely nowadays to retrieve information. Um, and store information. So large volumes of information can be stored and retrieved by the aid of computerized systems such as servers. And there is such a thing as a server farm. And for that, you probably have to Google and look up the um, examples of server farms. So if you're using Google, you're using YouTube, 
are using even Facebook. They have computers who retrieve and store your data, such as your photos, your music, and whatever else you like. It's actually stored on a server, which is a computer somewhere else. And this is one of the ways in which computers aid us in terms of our everyday living. Because can you just imagine giving someone all your photos and music to store? And let's just say a lot of persons give that same person all that information to store. By the time someone goes to that person and say, give me picture X and music Y, chances are the person would be very confused because it's just too large of volumes of information that any human being or human beings can store. So computers aid us in storing these um, volumes of information. So how does computers further help us? scientific uses. Um, in the scientific world, computers are used in many ways to support scientific research. Once again, they are used to regulate and maintain experimental processes. So that's, for instance, let's just say we need specific converse, um, conditions for a experiment to work or even to test an experiment. Computers are used to keep the um, then that environment stable or regulate it. So maintain, maintain it at a specific um, um, atmospheric condition or otherwise. And we use computers to make precise measurements. In many cases, to be very exact, when, when, when let's just say in surgeries where we have to cut or, or insert something at an exact, exact measurement the the human mind sometimes is unable to do that measurement so therefore computers play a role in making that precise measurement all right to process result one once again there are large volumes of information or data can be returned by machines or even tests and in order to sort through these 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 giant or these um, exhaustive no, um, amount of data, we use computers. And once again, you see what comes right here to store and retrieve data. It is used even in scientific uses as well, and even to present complicated results in an easier to understand way. Or so chances are scientists probably would do, I'm giving you an example here, do an experiment and in order for them to see the, 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 what the, the results of the experiment um, will, will, would be, that they need sometimes computers to generate bar graphs, pie charts, and various instruments so that it's easier to understand and read and also to communicate this data. All right, so on to commercial uses. Computers are used in various places such as offices in different organizations. You even, to be honest, there is no industry that computers currently do, 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 don't impact. So commercially, which is whenever you see commercially, always think business. How are computers being used in organizations? And you can even right now, you can generate some, write down some ideas of places you think computers are being used, are being used to generate profits or to help that organization. So that's something you can write down now. So I'm going to leave that example for you guys to figure and to write down. You can even submit them in the comment section so that they can help others who are watching these videos. See if you can think of, and a challenge is, see if you can think of an organization that doesn't use computers and is a commercial. And remember, when it's commercial, it's geared towards making a profit. So it must be a business. 
That's my challenge to you. All right, so that was your first lesson in um, IT CSEC. So pretty much we'll be looking in the next video at the basics of a computer system. And we say a computer is a machine for processing data and completing tasks. So, all right, see you next time for that one.